we've done a lot since this morning. We have, um, on the ceiling here, we've taken down um, anything that was moldy or damaged from the storm. There um, was a bunch of molding um, on the edges, so we took all that off. We took a cabinet set here in the kitchen. We were able to pull that entire cabinet set down, which was falling off already, um, and we've taken the doors off. We moved two giant freezers out and the um, oven and stove the range out of the house. So we've gone a bit of heavy lifting, taken out all the molding, all the molded items here and kind of got to remove all the debris from the home so right. so yeah we're finishing up in the house right now we've already cleaned and mopped one room and we're doing it to her bedroom now we're going to use that secondary room that's drying as storage for her furniture and we're going to move her little dresser and a couple things into there we're going to let the bedroom dry and put the beds down so she has a place to lay down if she wants to and just kind of have those two back rooms nice and clean thank you so too. much that yeah is, it's so awesome having you guys here i don't know how we would have done it without you you're welcome we're Really happy to be here. It's a good day. Uh, my name is Emily Roisman. I'm one of the founders of Protechos, and today we are helping Ramona to clean out her house. And uh, Ramona was a homeowner whose roof was blown off in Hurricane Maria, and uh, we helped her to rebuild it. Uh, Jaime up there on the roof. I don't know if you can see him. He is, he's been amazing. He um, was able to rebuild the roof, but there's so much damage inside that uh, we've asked uh, for some help from another group uh, that's pitched in, and uh, All Hands and Hearts has come in and brought their volunteers, and they're helping Protechos. We're working side by side, and we're hoping that we can work together going forward uh, as a team uh, to finish the great work that they started in Puerto Rico. There's only a little bit more of, of the roof here. Jaime's just finishing it off. Our uh, work is generally limited to rebuilding roofs, uh, but uh, we wanted to help Ramona out. She's 78 years old and she doesn't have the use of one of her arms, so we wanted to make sure that she had some help cleaning out the house and getting it ready so that she can move back in. Um, we're very, very happy that we can be able to do that. And we have several other houses in Buen Consejo that we've been working on. We This is our sixth uh, roof in Buen Consejo. We have three more that we're going to be working on with the University of Puerto Rico's architecture school. Uh, the students from a special class are in a workshop and Protechos will fund the materials and the students will design the roofs and they will build them out. And uh, we will be supporting them and hopefully we'll find more people to train along the way. This home itself, it, it was just missing half the roof. So what we did was we replaced all the lumber that was underneath that was too thin actually to hold the, the roof the way it should be. Then we put new uh, roofing panels and we fixed the problems that it had on this side, which was it wasn't taken away by the hurricane, but we had to we had to fix several problems with it. How many have you done so far with Puerto Rico? Uh, this will be the fourth one. Fourth one. And how did you find out about Puerto Rico? They actually contacted me through a friend, a mutual friend that I was volunteering with. They asked for people that would like to help them and I ended up working with them. I actually build uh, sets for movies and theater. Wow. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the closest I've come to like doing construction like this is building haunted houses. So, yeah, that's where I am. Very cool. Que estoy muy agradecida de ustedes todo lo que están haciendo porque hasta ahora nadie lo había hecho.